Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and I'm going to show you how to unlock Cyrano Crayano. I don't know how to pronounce the name. The final boss of Pokemon Indigo this DLC. Now, there's a lot of guys online, and they're half right. There is a speedrun way where you just face Cyrano as fast as you can, and I found out by accident. So, if you are a speedrunner or you don't care about the experience of battling all the gym leaders over and over again, then this is the way you face him faster. So long story short, you have to beat the game, hit credits. After that, you must go to your league room and start calling up all the gym leaders to come to school. This will cost you a minimum of 6,000 BP to do this whole process. Um, you make a mistake here and there, it'll cost you an extra 200 plus per mistake. Now if you're wondering, how the hell do I get 6,000 BP? Um, the honest answer is it'll take hours by yourself. But if you play online in the Union Circle, you can share the missions together. And this speeds up the process completely because your friend or whoever you're playing with does some missions for you, you do them, and vice versa, it speeds up. You get more red missions, which is worth 100 to 200 BP, which you get faster. Then you also unlock green missions, which is worth 500 BP. It's very effective to play online. And that's how I got 6,000 BP within an hour. If I didn't do the friend method, it would have honestly taken me probably a whole day to get up to 6,000. It took me like probably half a day to get to 3,000 BP because um, I wasn't doing it properly or doing too slow or some missions just, it just took forever to do. Now you have 6,000 BP, what do you do? So the online guy said you must call each gym leader three times and you have to battle them twice. They will give you a Pokemon to trade at the end and that's how they show they love you. The truth here is, you don't need to battle them. If you want to save time, you just call them up and then just say no. Just keep pressing that B button and reject them. You reject them twice and progress the story, they will still trade you their Pokemon. And I found this out because um, if you do not press B and reject them, it's a waste of 200 BP because you don't progress the story. So you must talk to them, reject them over and over again, trade the Pokemon. Once you get to trade the Pokemon, you move on to the next trainer. Uh, once you max out the relationship, the little circle on the menu will turn gold so you know that you completed that mission. And once you have invited 10 trainers and you max out your relationship, you go back to the league's computer and now you can call on Saffron, the legendary trainer, who is Cyrano, which I honestly did not care. I just wanted to face whoever was the final boss. And before I show you the Cyrano battle, I guess the other question is how do you catch the other two Paradox Pokemon? You gotta catch 200 Pokemon. I know, small little tidbit, pain in the butt. I, I hated it, the only way I got that was Pokemon Home. Anyways, so now that you face Serrano, I know some of you want to see the battle. Enjoy the battle. I hope you enjoy my replay of me destroying him, and I hope you destroy him soon too. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the replay.